<laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Hi, my name is Antoine Laurie, and I'm on the competitive cheer team. The whole process with the cheer team is funny because I wasn't supposed to cheer. Uh, I was kind of just going to show up and walk on for football. <laughs> it's my first year of cheer. I didn't get into cheer until like the summer before this year, so it was really, really cutting it close. And um, during that summer, about the first or last week of summer before school started, is where I really learned how to cheer. Learned how to tumble in like two hours. Starting in middle school, done football, basketball, wrestling, track. I did tennis for like one semester. He doesn't want to play soccer with me. Wow. I mean, Dad. Uh, yeah. Chunky. Um, two years ago, <laughs> now my mom passed away, so I wanted to keep our house, and the only way I could do that was by being in the city, so I could go back and forth to do all the things and maintenance the house and whatnot. I I feel I know poverty is my biggest struggle in life, is because I was born like my mom was a crack addict at the time, so my older siblings, I have four older biological siblings. They were all taken away at birth because she couldn't get her stuff together. So for my first four years life, I was in and out of foster care. It was just a really poor living situation altogether. It was over in the West Coast, um, Southern California, and poverty over there is really bad. You know, we slept outside the playground. We had to sleep on buses like the whole day. I wasn't, I wanna say allowed to be aware of what my situation was, because my mom made it very clear that she still wanted me to have some kind of childhood, because she wasn't allowed to. I didn't know sleeping outside wasn't normal, you know what I mean? I didn't know sleeping on the bus wasn't normal. Like, I didn't know walking around on weekends asking other people for money to help like buy your kids food wasn't normal. Wow! I'm telling you, bro, the edit you're gonna have to do with this is crazy. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> so, the regional competition, I believe, it's, it said mid Midwest regional competition, and that's, I believe, nine teams that compete for a regional title. Regional title gets you a bid to nationals. So this is like a really big competition because if you didn't score very high and you didn't average in the NAIA very high scores for nationals, which is taking into consideration who you want to get in, you need to win this competition so you can go in. You're going to suffer regardless, you know. That's just how life is. So you can either choose to suffer for completion or suffer at regret. Yeah. Um, this year, Nationals is being hosted at Eastern Michigan in Ann Arbor, and that's a big goal of mine. You know, definitely want to come in, compete, and win. It's the whole goal there. Especially after winning regionals. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to cut that one out, buddy. <laughs> and I'm really, really expecting another perfect routine out of them. I think they can pull it off. And, uh, fighting me, just absolutely stellar. But their today. execution, just every single element throughout, even this little tiny transitional work that they do, because I think they've done perfect. I want you guys to share every single moment. You may, may or may not ever have this NAIA. opportunity. No other team yeah. has built this way. Yeah. 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 St. Ambrose University, coached by Janelle Langenecker.
Cheer means a lot to me because coming into this, I didn't really think I was going to do too many sports at Ambrose, if any sports at all. So it gave me another chance to compete, and I'm glad I got recruited to a winning team. I was the last person entrusted with the spirit stick. That was a mistake. Um, that's because I dropped it three times before Nashville. I wasn't going to tell anybody before we did it, but I did three, three times. Twice, the previous spirit stick ho holder, he saw me drop it. I dropped it. He was like, hey, hurry up, pick it up. Gave it back to me, handed it to me. It fell right back out of my hand. That was twice in a row. Third time, I was in a hotel room. Since I put my bag down, slid across the floor. So, you know, I'm not a really big superstitious guy anymore. I can tell you that much.